I feel like folks are always looking for easy breakfast recipes. This is an oldie. It's so old that it's a recipe in our first cookbook before Rose, Keto Meal Prep. They're my version of the Starbucks sous vide egg bites, but Bobby approved keto and perfect for meal prepping. So the first thing I'm doing is preheating the small oven to crisp up the bacon. I'm using some organic bacon from Whole Foods. I'll throw down some parchment paper which is the non-chlorinated, non-bleached one. It doesn't have those nasty forever chemicals in there. I lay out the bacon on the parchment. Oven's still preheating, but it doesn't matter for bacon. It'll get to 400 eventually, and we'll do about 13 to 15 minutes. If you do not do bacon, I'm sorry, but you can substitute that with sauteed portobello mushrooms or cremini, it would be lovely. My big oven is going at 350. This is the most important part of the recipe. Starbucks does sous vide egg bites, meaning they vacuum seal them and cook them in water. How am I gonna replicate that? By making a bain marie or a water bath. Some water goes in my baking dish, oven's at 350, and I put the water bath on the bottom rack. And what that's gonna do is when the egg bites go in, it'll create a warm, humid environment to gently cook my eggs. I've got some beautiful pasture raised eggs here. I'm gonna crack 10 into my blender. I've been thinking about sous vide food in general lately, and I do not love the idea of food or egg bites being vacuum sealed in a plastic bag and then being cooked underwater at like 180, 190 degrees for a few hours. The plastics possibly leaching into the food just doesn't seem right to me. And I guess we're making a nine egg <laughs> recipe because I don't have any more. I'll have to buy some at the store. One cup of cheese. The recipe says Gruyere or Swiss. I don't have that, but this is a lovely British grass-fed cheddar from uh, Whole Foods. You can use the Kerrygold Dubliner from Costco. I'm just gonna grate one cup on the largest setting of my box grater. If Rose were here and not at school, you'd have to do a cup and a half because she would eat it. And now, an ingredient that had a resurgence last year in 2023, cottage cheese. Now back in my day, the only time people used cottage cheese was my grandma putting it in the middle of a cantaloupe. People were making sauces out of it, dressings, and that's a good thing because this stuff is delicious. I need half a cup. It's protein rich, it's got probiotics, and it's uber creamy. If you don't like cottage cheese because the texture freaks you out, just use uh, regular cream cheese. But, I mean, check this out. 14 grams of protein per serving and living bacteria. This brand is the best at the grocery store, in my opinion. And get the double cream one. Mmm, so fatty and delicious. Nice pinch of Celtic salt. A few cracks of black pepper, and we're gonna blend it up. If you don't wanna dirty your blender, just use a hand mixer. Egg smoothie is done. The more air you beat in, the fluffier the egg bites are gonna be. And he thinks the bacon is done. Perfect. And I'll transfer that to a paper towel lined plate for a minute. Save the bacon fat for breakfast tomorrow. Muffin tin, not Teflon, not your traditional nonstick ceramic. But still, you wanna ensure the nonstick ability. Grab some Costco avocado oil. Give it a nice spray here. People always ask about this. It's on Amazon. This one, I think it's uh, Green Life. Ceramic, non-toxic. Traditional Teflon, toxic. And then we'll fill the tin about three quarters of the way up. And you can see all the bubbles in there. It's like Michael Jackson's chimpanzee bubbles. I recommend doubling this recipe, making them both at once, and then stashing the leftovers in the freezer because cooked eggs only last for three days in the fridge. We'll grab the Flav City knife here and chop up our bacon. A lot of folks bought the cookware over the holidays, which is great. This was a top seller. 67 layers of Damascus steel, the ergonomical handle. The sale's over, but just for YouTube, if you want, I'll do 20% um, off the entire cookware set or individual pieces with code eggs. Eggs at flavecitycookware.com. And then we'll put the chopped bacon on top of the bites. So you don't want to blend it in the blender. And I'm actually going to wipe out the avocado oil from the empty ones. Otherwise it's gonna burn and possibly scorch. In the oven we go and we'll set a timer for about 25 minutes. Oh yeah, check this out. So we're at 30 minutes right now. When they start popping out of the mold like that and the center feels like it's just set, yank it and let them rest for five minutes. I'm gonna loosen the edges 
a little bit, but it should pop out easily. And there it is, a perfect little hockey puck of eggy goodness. You can feel it, they're uber fluffy. Once you bite into these with that bacon, it's gonna be lovely. Check out the bottom of the muffin tin, no stickage, which is lovely. Here's the crazy part. In the cookbook, I have the cost of these from Starbucks, but that was like four years ago. Four years ago, two of these at Starbucks was $4.75. We looked up the price, it's up to $5.25, hello inflation. To make these homemade, two of them was $1.27. Four years ago, let's add 30% to that for inflation, so $1.27 plus $36. Let's just call it a buck seventy. A buck seventy compared to $5.25. Theirs have a lot of bad ingredients, mine don't. And let's show the inside of the bite. Look at that. Uber silky, studded with those beautiful bacon pieces. How does it taste? I made this recently with cream cheese, not as good as the cottage cheese. Oh my God, seasoning's on point. But the texture is so fluffy and soft, just like sous vide with the Bain Marie in there. All right, recipe, flavorcity.com. Links in the post, make these, make them twice, put them in the freezer, meal prep them. Bye.